In this video, I'm going to talk about the Starlink capacity issues and explain why you cannot get a Starlink kit in Harare and its surrounding areas, as well as some parts of Bulawayo. This video is sponsored by Simba Tasker. Complete your routine tasks faster and smarter. Now, if you're in Harare and you visit the Starlink website with the intention of buying your own Starlink kit, you will be greeted with this message. Starlink service is currently at capacity in your area. And sure enough, a quick glance on the availability map shows that the blue areas keep expanding. Like your side chick's stomach, I'm pretty sure that's not bloating. What? But what does it all mean? It boils down to technology. For starters, Starlink wasn't meant to replace your fiber or 5G internet, right? It was meant to save underserved communities in remote locations like rural areas. But because Zimbabwean internet service providers are sleeping on the job, the rural internet is in high demand in the urban areas, especially Harare and Wulawayo. But what does it all mean when they say that Starlink is at capacity? It means the amount of Starlink kits operating in a specific geographical location is now more than the constellation of satellites orbiting that area can handle without degrading the quality of the internet. Now, each Starlink satellite in orbit can provide internet access to hundreds of Starlink kits in a specific cell or in a single cell, which is an area that covers about 379 square kilometers. But that is not the only key factor. Another factor is that the current V2 satellites from Starlink can only support a maximum of 96 gigabits per second. Which sounds like a lot, but if you divide that number by the amount of Starlink kits in Harare alone. For example, if we take the latest stats from the Portra's Q2 report, which indicate that there are over 40,000 Starlink kits in Zimbabwe. Assuming that 20,000 kits are in Harare and its surrounding areas. Harare is about 960 square kilometers of space, which means that Harare is being served by about three Starlink satellites or a few more depending on the arrangement of the cells in Harare. Now we should also think of population densities as well, especially in the high density suburbs. That means a lot more Starlink kits are packed in one location. Simba Tasker. This is a platform that connects Zimbabwean businesses and sellers. You can sign up as a business or as a service seeker. What makes Simba Tasker worthwhile is that every seller and corporate can be rated by customers ensuring that only the best companies remain on the platform. And for the customer, convenience and peace of mind. You can download Simba Tasca on Android and iOS. There's also a web version as well. Link in the description if you want to check it out. Now, Starlink has been deploying satellites to areas that are at capacity. For example, Harare, Lusaka, even some parts of Bolawai, right, previously. But because of the high demand of the service, the areas would quickly go to sold out. Now, if you're in Harare, the question probably is, is there any hope? Is there a chance that we'll probably get Starlink anytime soon? The short answer is yes. For the very fact that Starlink is still collecting deposits for areas that are at capacity. Plus, Starlink is pinning their hopes on their V3 satellites, which are way better than the current V2 satellites. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Whilst the V2 satellites have a max speed of 96 gigabits per second, the V3 satellites offer speeds up to 1000 gigabits per second. Plus, they also come with new feature support like direct to sell, which will allow people to access Starlink using only their smartphones. But the Starlink V3 satellites are expected to be deployed in the early part of 2026. And just by taking an educated guess, Areas that are in high demand for Starlink or areas that are at capacity are likely to benefit from the deployment of the V3 satellites across the globe, right? Now, I'm saying this so that you get maybe a realistic picture of uh, when you're expecting to get Starlink. So many people are just signing up for Starlink, right? Not knowing when the service will be available. So realistically, I think mid to end of 2026, that's when Starlink will be adding more capacity, especially when the V3 satellites are launched, right? Now, you need to make sure that you are on the waiting list to benefit from that. So this is what I think is likely to happen. So 
Don't despair, probably mid to late 2026, you should be getting your sterling. For the time being, you have Zimbabwean providers to contend with. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.